Welcome back. This is On the Money with Ryan Wheelis, financial advisor, the founder of Allied Wealth, offices all around the Texas area. We're talking a little bit about turbulence. Uh, we just spoke in our recent video and the uh, segment right before this on the radio about the interest rates. That was a, that was a big jump. That was a big air pocket of turbulence. Um, j any more takeaways on that, though? I mean, I guess it's better for consumers who are looking for a loan, but for our retirees, pre-retirees, are they really? Is, it, is this really a help for them with in the loan department? They're not usually looking for another mortgage right now, or do they? Well, sometimes? I mean, it's you know, it's a double-edged sword, Spike, because rates coming down should be good for the stock market, all right? Mm -hmm. But you know, most people that we serve, most families we serve and represent, um, they're trying to de-risk a little bit, and so they don't want to be migrating more towards the stock market. They would rather have more money in fixed you know investments and what's even crazy man is like i've got some really wealthy friends and none of them have money in the stock market none of them what Z wait none. a sec what do you mean <laughs> they all their money is in bonds and private credit all of it hey ryan i i, I haven't i haven't won I, I don't the the yield that i get whether mm. it's four five six seven eight nine ten percent is more than enough than than i need i don't need more than that so it's really interesting because these are some very very wealthy people and the majority of their money is not, in fact, in a lot of cases, none of it is in the stock market. All right. But we are, you know, working with people that have one to two million bucks. And if I look at their money, guess where it is? And their 401k. Yeah. Oh, yes, okay. their 401k is yeah. in the market. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's one of these things where it's like, look, you know, moving away from having a major market event take away your ability to maintain your lifestyle in your golden years is not a bad idea. The challenge with it, Spike, is now that rates are starting to come down, those fixed interest programs are not going to be as attractive as they are mm -hmm. or have been in the past, in the recent past. And so we've been beating this drum, you and I both, for quite yeah. a while, folks. Yeah. It's never been it's a better it. time to and at least happening. investigate these fixed interest products, these, these payout products, whatever they are, that can provide you guaranteed income for life at the highest level we've seen in a long, long time. And there's a strong chance with us being as, as a nation and the level of debt that we are that we don't see these interest rates again for a long, long I, time. So, well, okay, well, that that as well. You, the perspective on your career, if you don't mind, is this, I mean, because I know we have to worry about compliance, but is this one of the best windows you've seen for these interest rates and these products in your career? Is it, is it at least one of the – by a mile. Wow. By a mile, for sure. It, yeah, it's it's mind-boggling, Spike. The, um, the the space has really kind of start, said, wait a minute, we, we see an opportunity here to really help people lock in some high payout rates for dollars invested and have guaranteed income for life. And you're and saying I, this is what your high net worth friends do on their own. It's like, look, oh, we for, won well, the game. Why do they, we need okay. to keep it – they're more, to the markets. They're, they're more into, into bond portfolios and private credit, but they've been moving out of lower yield products into higher yield bonds, mm -hmm. and they've been moving more money into private credit. And, folks, private credit used to be this thing that you couldn't get into, but now you can. The everyday investor out there that I'm talking to right now that's driving down the, the, in the road in the car, hearing what I'm saying, mm -hmm. you can actually access private credit funds. We've got private credit funds that are very stable, that produce anywhere from a six, eight, in some cases, 10% distribution a year. But private credit is uniquely different than the bond market, is uniquely different than the stock market, is uniquely different than the, than the annuity market, but so many people don't even know about it, yet it's one of the best-kept secrets that wealthy use to maintain their, uh, their wealth and produce a good yield on that wealth to maintain their lifestyle. We, so we've, talk, we've talked before about how working with a financial advisor can increase your return sometimes just by two or three percent. But two or three percent over a 30 year investment timeline is an incredible amount of growth. It, it, we've so, you, folks, you can look online yourself or when you're done driving, go home on the internet. It, it's almost a million to two million dollars worth of difference on $500,000 over a 30 year period. Just that two or three percent having access to Massive. things like this. Well, it's also a, a difference of income over that time period. It's a lot more income in your pocket versus less income in your pocket, right, just because of fees. Um, but, Spike, you know, when you, when you look at this stuff, you really have to think about, all right, I've got this money. I've got this nest egg that I've got. I have a finite amount of resources, and I've got to use these resources to last me and my spouse my, my retirement, right? And you have to understand, folks, there are things you just don't know. 
right? I, I couldn't go to uh, one of my clients as a veterinarian. I, I, there's zero possible way I could walk into some poor guy whose dog just got hit by a car and figure out how to save his dog. I, I can't do that. I, do, I don't know that, all right? I could walk into Mustang Engineering and go, hey, that oil rig right there, man, we're going to design this thing like that and put this gauge still in there and this wire here and that, that thing there. I don't, I don't know how to do that stuff, mm-hmm. all right? But I do know finances. I do know investments, all right? And even today, it's amazing that how fast the world is changing around us with different investment opportunities that are out there. Even it's, it's, a, it's hard for me to keep up with it. So I couldn't imagine being the person out there that doesn't choose to engage a financial advisor to at least learn what they don't know because there's so much stuff out there. Example, private credit. (laughs) Okay, there's funds out there right now that you can access that have solid yields and very stable values um, and will and should maintain that going forward. Uh, But if you don't know about those things because you just don't know, you're missing out on some wonderful opportunities to have a potentially better retirement in your golden years. I don't think we were able to to do this on video, but you just kicked open the door on something you and I talked about six or eight months ago. You were talking about the ramp up to nearly a million managed investments. That right now there's somewhere around 600,000 and there's new things that come out. I mean, I'm not saying this as a suggestion for our listeners, but now there's the Bitcoin ETFs that are really big. Ethereum is about to launch. Ethereum is yeah. about to launch. And there's just pretty soon, I think within a two or three year period, depending on how they get through on regulations, a million different managed investments to choose from. How is the retail investor? And when I say retail, that means our listeners out there who aren't financial advisors. How are they supposed to choose? between the world of stuff out there. Spike, it's a, it's, it's a daunting task. And so, you know, a, a lot of folks go, well, well, forget it. I'll just buy index funds. Hey, hey that's okay. great. Good, good for you. Okay. That, that's, that, that can be a good move. But what you don't understand, and I'm not beating index funds up here, is that so goes the market, so goes your index fund. So goes the quality of life mm-hmm. you live in your golden years. So if you start out with a million bucks, okay, and you're clipping a 5% coupon off your million bucks, that's 50,000 bucks a year, plus maybe 40,000 a year from Social Security, you're at 90 grand, not a bad not a bad number, okay? Not a bad number at all. But all of a sudden, your index funds go with the market down 40%. Well, not only did your income drop 40%, but your base to produce your income dropped 40%. All right, so now you're in a situation where, wait a minute, retirement felt pretty good when I had my million, now I've got six hundred grand because I lost forty percent of it. My income is also down forty percent. Retirement doesn't feel so good anymore. All right. Yeah. So yeah. you know that. Let's put that to rest. And I'm not saying don't have some money out there in index funds, folks. But retirement is all about this. It's about mitigating downside risk and not sacrificing your loss, your lifestyle. So it never makes sense to risk something that you already that you've already got. You've already got taken care of. Okay. For something you don't need. That's a gonna, Warren Buffett line, folks. I'm going to throw you a curveball here because we, right. we, we always do our pre-show notes, folks. And, uh, and then with Ryan, I just love getting off the page because you just brought up income. And I, I made a mistake a couple of days ago. I, I looked up on my laptop uh, income producing funds and all of a sudden everything I'm getting in my phone, everything I'm getting in my laptop, everything I'm getting in my social media is about income producing kinds of funds. And you started out the conversation by talking about income producing are there income producing funds and stocks? Is there a way we would do this? My, my question is, between doing it with structured notes and or annuities or insurance products or funds that produce dividends for income, do you have a preference or are, are you really a blend at Allied Wealth? We are a blend, Spike. Um, the, the, the main thing that we want to accomplish is to make sure that your food, water, shelter, clothing, access to health care, transportation, medicine, roof over your head, I think I said that, utilities, um, all of those needs are met from a guaranteed source so that no matter what happens, you have those basic needs met in your golden years. Mm -hmm. That's number one. That is the foundational thing right there. Now, once we've got that foundation built, we know we've got that game won. Then let's go to the next level because, hey, you didn't work 30 or 40 years doing whatever you did not to have some fun in your golden years. So let's start building into that plan some ways to finance 
what you want to do in the rest of your life. Is it travel? Is it volunteering? Is it uh, spending more time with the church? Mm-hmm. You know, is it starting a new business? Is it learning how to fly? I mean, there's all kind of stuff yeah. I see people wanting to do, right? Yeah. So what are those things? And let's figure out a way to finance them, okay? So maybe, Spike, there's some dividend-paying stocks in that mix. Maybe there's some private credit funds. Um, and then let's not pigeonhole all the money into things that don't sound fun. Let's take some money out there, the next layer up, if you will, and let's buy some speculative stuff. If you want to buy a little Bitcoin ETF, let's go for it. You want to buy into the uh, AI uh, stock hype? Let's go for it. But let's not put so much of that of your money out there in that level of risk, so to speak, to where if it doesn't work out to your benefit, that now you're having to change your lifestyle in your golden years because you made a mistake. Ryan, we're going to have uh, news and announcements here, bottom of the hour. Uh, the uh, runway's close in the window here. Take us, take us to a landing real quick, if you don't mind. Folks, listen. Call us, 844-944-7555, 844-944-7555. I'm throwing out all kind of jargon at you, all kind of mm-hmm. buzzwords, that sort of thing. Um, but if anything that you're hearing right now is something you want to know more about, pick up the phone and call us. It costs you nothing except a little bit of time to get us on the phone. All right, 844-944-7555. Also check us out at retirenowhouston.com, retirenowhouston.com. New poll was done. What do Americans fear the most right now? If you're sticking on the radio, uh, go through the news and the uh, the announcements. We'll be back in a few minutes here. Come back for that segment. And if you want to on our videos here, click on the next one. What do Americans fear more than anything right now? When we get back with Ryan Wheelis, financial advisor of On the Money and Allied Wealth, right after this. 